Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Sun Devils are really hitting their stride. Look, I know they have a winning streak going, but more importantly, they're starting to play at a very high level. The expectations are going to rise. They'll try to make sure their performance does the same. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Stadium, a window to both Arizona State University and the Valley of the Sun, the setting for this outstanding football melee. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Carter is lined up and just about ready to send this one off as we're ready to get this game underway. Wilson fields it at the two. And he's tackled at the 30. The Sun Devils offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks but the thing that i really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team when things are going well he's patting everybody on the back when things are not going well he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go so not only does he physically have the tools but also i really love the way he approaches the game second down 13 yards to go ball on their own 27. They go with a screen here, and the halfback's got it. Loss of three yards on the way. That'll bring up third and long. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That pass didn't look exactly right when it left his hand. Sometimes you don't get a great grip on the ball, and it comes out a little wobbly. Coleman is back deep to return the punt. Tackle at the 41-yard line. Pretty good job by the return man there. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. Fires it out. And he's taken down to the 38-yard line. That makes it second and six. Tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a game four yards. That makes us only three. He fights forward to about the 33. UCLA's got a guy that's in a running for a national award here, Herbie. And you know, the best time to talk about awards really is after you win them. Right now, it's all speculation. He's just got to play the game. So it's fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Looks quick to his tight end, and he can't hang on. I'm not going to fault that decision. It was definitely a first down that they could have picked up. You want to be aggressive early on, even if it doesn't always work out.
Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Throws quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Steps up in the pocket. Strike to his receiver, no good. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Over the middle to his tailback. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. They couldn't get anything to work, and it will be fourth down. Grant awaits the snap. He's to the 40. Tackle made at the 41. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. He fires right. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Man, did he ever sell the run? The defense took the bait, and that hesitation was enough to give the receiver room to make the catch. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So they review it, but there's just not enough evidence to overturn this one. From the 44-yard line, first down. Quick pass, tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. That makes it second and ten. Throws it in a hurry. And down he goes at about the 33-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From the 33-yard line, second down. With the pass incomplete, he let that pass get away from him. I think he's a little bit anxious. He actually looked a little bit too juiced that time, but he'll get the next one. Got a man. He can't complete the play. Collins is waiting for the snap. Got to give some applause to the defense. They really came out playing strong today. Well, you know better than me, Brad. It, this college football game is about emotion. And to be able to play great defense in the college game, you've got to come out and play with your hair on fire. We've seen that from both of these defenses so far. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. Man can't tack on any yardage. Gets out to about the twenty one. short. Oh, that's 
Chelsea City. That makes it fourth and four. Coleman is back awaiting the punt. Coleman fields it at the 48. They'll bring him down at the 42. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. So at the end of one quarter, no score here. We're all tied up and more action coming hopefully here in quarter number two. bring him down at about the 27-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. And they make the stop the 19-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Makes it to the 11. That's a game of eight on the play. First down. Reset, cut right. Choose the mic. You ain't doing nothing today. You ain't doing nothing today. Here he goes. He's tackled at the three. That makes it second and two. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A six-play, 42-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. Carter has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Wilson from the six. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. There's a strike complete. He's taken down around the 41 yard line. a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. And he dives forward. Michael 
made at about the 43-yard line. These corners are showing that they're not afraid to come up and make a hit. Even if they aren't playing pass, they know how to disrupt the play. From the 43-yard line, second down. Brought down at the 31. He's at the 20. Makes it to the 14. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He gets out to about the 12-yard line. Play number 10 on the drive. And he is drilled at the three yard line. point to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Wait till you see the action in Athens. And for Kentucky, they find Pater through the air. Poling's stability in the passing game is completely evident already with a touchdown pass. Kentucky's on top, 7-0, early in the first. Thanks, Reese. We're tied at seven in this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 32 yard line. That makes it 33. Hearn was the intended receiver on that pass. And that'll bring up a punting situation. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass. And they defended the play very well in the secondary. And watch out, they're going to bring the heat right here. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Catches it and hit immediately for a loss. That's a loss of about five. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. And he's hit immediately. And he's 
tackle right away. That makes it second and two. And he's immediately tackled. Here's the true test of a quarterback at any level. Can they make a good throw under pressure when one or two or three guys are coming right at him? I think this young passer has proven that, yes, he can. Going for it all to the end zone. It's second and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's looking for six. Got his man. Touchdown. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 60-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. So our score, 14-7. Arizona State is ready to kick it away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 27. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. He's scrambling. He's got the corner. Tackle around the 30-yard line. And he didn't get much on that scramble before they drilled it. Brad, that's a great way for the quarterback to get himself injured. He needs to be a lot more careful out there. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 30. Quick throw. And down he goes at the 43. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. They'll spread the field with five wide. He airs it out. He's hit and taken down. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Now he's scrambling. He gets sacked on the play. So we've played two quarters. The Sun Devils in front, 14-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. What a terrific first half. This is everything we anticipated this game being. And we're going to be riveted to this game, I feel like, David, in the second half, anticipating a terrific finish. It's, it's fun. It's, it's, it's living up to the hype every single time. We can't even turn the channel here. We got it on the big screen, on the big 60-inch. Yes, it's quite nice, by the way, too. The weather's nice and warm. It's beautiful. Got some chips. We're opening them up a little bit. But great game, living up to the hype. It definitely feels like both teams are evenly matched. It feels like it can go either way. It feels like it's going to come down to the wire. And the only thing I hope it doesn't come down to is a kicker. Please don't come down to a kick in the end. Both these teams playing great D, playing great O, you know, physical, you know, pounding on each other, making big plays. Don't come down to a finesse kick by like a, a soccer player, please. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf? Some Asher turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some... Uh, chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. 
Oh, what a hit. The Sun Devils continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here we go! He's into the open field. Makes it to the 37. That's a game of the play. First down. Three down, three down. Watch two. Watch two. Watch two. And he's leveled at the 35-yard line. From their own 35-yard line, second down. Throws after the running back, no good. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You've got an open man like this. Just step and deliver and make the throw. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. The defense scoops it. They'll bring him down at about the 19-yard line. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop and now you get the ball back with the lead. leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Arizona State up seven points. Inside the 10. Touchdown, ASU! What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense when you have a quarterback who can do things like that. The coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he tacks on the extra point. Matthew is lined up to kick this one off. at the 26. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. Here's an opening. He's at the 40. Gets out to around the 32. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Nickel gets eight yards on the play. That makes it second and two. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. A little toss across the middle. First down. He might have a chance. Nice play to set up first and goal. That's a game of 15 and goal. That makes it first and goal. They'll drop in for a loss. That is exactly the type of play that good linebackers make on a regular basis. And if you can make enough of them in college, probably going to get a chance to play at the next level. Never want to see a kid down on the field after a play. Not sure what happened, but hopefully it's nothing serious. 
Second down and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. Nice run to the outside. Touchdown, Bruins. And he adds the extra point. An eight-play, 74-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Well, the blocking up front was just amazing. I think that's what led them to those big runs. Carter gets set to kick this one away. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 21-yard line. Wow, close game here. And up and down the field with both these offenses matching what the others done. Well, it's fun to watch each offense get an opportunity to go out and make plays. And you're right, you almost feel as, as if one offense feels challenged and has to be able to bounce back, and they've done that. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Arizona State is up seven. Throws incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 21-yard line, it's second down. The Bruins lost a player earlier in Herbie. This is a big blow to this team. Doesn't look like he's going to play any more football today. Throws complete. He's hammered. up the first down. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 35. going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Delayed hand off, man. He's not going to get back to the line. Grant awaits the snap. He dropped it. Turkey broke the cardinal rule there. He ran without the football. You know, as a return man, your first responsibility is to catch the ball and then worry about the return. He just lost his concentration there. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of five on the way. That brings him second in the game. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Gain of nine on the play. That makes it first and ten. Larry, Larry, Larry! Yes, hey, Mike. Hey, no, no. Mike, Mike, Mike. Easy, easy, easy. Right back to the run game, and this time he's met immediately. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 46. Mike two, Mike two, 
Quick throw. It's all about chipping away at the defense. Even short yardage completions can have a way of building a quarterback's confidence. He sails it long. Can't connect. The quarterback didn't get enough on the long ball. Now the quarterback can't worry about getting hit back there. He's got to step up and make the throw downfield to the receiver. Collins is the punter. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Let's see if this drive has a more rewarding conclusion than their last, which ended with a punt. Arizona State is up by a touchdown. Black five, black go. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That makes it second and ten. Second down, ten to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Just throws this one away. Brought down right around the thirty four. a bullet complete and he's tackled at the 28 yard line so at the end of three Arizona State leads 21 14 back in this very pivotal fourth quarter Taken down at the 19 yard line. Here he goes. He's tackled around the two yard line. Arizona State is up a score. Tackle made at the four. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. And this play is number eight on the drive. Let it go, and it's caught for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. And he hits the PAT. his kick team lined up and he is set to kick this one off he's to the 20 they'll bring him down at the 29 UCLA has been doing special things on offense all season long and not today that's not what we've been expecting this has been a shocker these guys have had their way with almost every defense all year long you come in expecting the same thing and they lay an egg oh, I didn't expect to see this at all it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold That quickly incomplete. Uh -oh, 
Second and ten. Ball on the 29-yard line. And he's taken down right around the 40. Montgomery makes the tackle at the 40-yard line. First down. Carries the ball for a nice game. That's a game of four. That makes, that makes it, it second, second and six. six. Choose the mic. Switch, 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 switch. Makes it out to about the 46. That's good for a game of 10 yards. First down. Roger, Roger. Mike, two. Mike, two. Mike, two. Throws complete. He's got space to work. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. That makes it first and ten. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle at the 21. First down. Zips it left. They can't connect. Incomplete. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 21. Now he tries to buy some time. They'll make the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. Tenth play of the drive. It's our time. It's our time. Just under three to go in regulation. He heaves it to the end zone. He's got it. Touchdown, UCLA. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese, time to check out what's going on in Norman. And for Oklahoma, once again, this game just goes to show you never take anything for granted in college football. The Wildcats are out front, 17-3. In other action, the Tigers came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far will the pollsters move them down? And for Louisville, they've won eight games on the season. And for Stratton, he winds up with a couple of touchdown passes. The Cardinals win it by 14. People were predicting some upsets this week, but I'd be shocked if that score holds up. Carter, ready to kick. He's to the 20. They bring him down, and they bring him down hard on that one. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled in the open field. Gets it out quickly. They'll bring him down at the 48. Madison picks him up six yards with a catch. UCLA just took their first time out. They're about four yards away here on second down. Just over two minutes in the game. Nice run there. That's a first down here, and I love to see the wide receiver get a chance to get his hands on the football. You know, the offensive coordinator told us earlier this week they're going to do everything they can to get this receiver involved in the game plan, whether it means catching a ball or, at times, running the football. And there, he shows what he can do with the football in his hand. 
That makes it second and ten. It's second and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. stop the 39 yard line not a bad little play there yeah it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game go. Go. and he throws it away good job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play so they're gonna go for it here He's at the 30. He makes his way to about the 28. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That makes it second and eight. It's second down, eight to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Makes it to the 14. This is the 10th play of this drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. And so that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 28-21, Sun Devil. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.